Hi everyone, this is Jared, creator of BigBot RepRap 3D Printers, and here I'd like to show you how we get large 3D prints to stick to our build platforms. We build and sell large 3D printers, so keeping the print firm on the bed is critical to us. I usually get 50 prints before I need to reapply the tape, and about 10 prints before I need more spray enamel. So the 15 minutes of work this takes to prepare is certainly not needed for every print. So let's get to it. Using the PET tape protects our build platforms from scratching. Without it, your build platform will eventually look like this, or worse. Some prints using hips adhered so well, the plastic pulled shards of aluminum out of the plate. This is what our printer looks like after 50 prints using PET tape. So to begin, we will start with a clean bed. As you can see, the tape pulls off easily. No need to wrestle with scraping pieces of tape or using acetone to chemically clean. Now, with your printer turned off, thoroughly wet the bed. Second, wet the sticky side of the tape. The water on the bed helps to hold the non-sticky side flat on the bed while you dabble water on the sticky side. Apply the tape to the bed as straight as possible, and once you're satisfied with the placement, use your least favorite credit card to push out the water from under the tape. Bubbles and creases squeegee out easily, and it's easy to reposition while it's wet. I use a paint scraper to trim off the excess tape. Once the entire bed is covered, dry off the excess water. I like to give the tape a few minutes to dry before applying the adhesive. Please note that if you heat your bed directly after squeegeeing the water out, small bubbles will form where there is still moisture under the tape. If you give it a few hours to dry at room temperature, it will stay bubble free. I'm using Rust-Oleum Clear Enamel here, but I'm sure other brands work. I'm showing the spraying of the bed at normal speed so you get an idea of coverage. A decent, even coat is all I use for the first application. After a few prints, when you notice the enamel has been pulled off the tape, reapply a light coat in that area. After five or so coats of enamel, a reasonably thick layer will develop that might start making your parts a bit rough on that first layer. Also, try not to cover critical printer parts with clear enamel. I haven't found an issue with this, but it can't be good. If your printer nozzle is on and you spray it with highly flammable aerosol, that's not good either. Okay, so once the enamel is dry in 10 minutes or so, you're ready to print. So how does this work? Well, the secret to this is that the bed temperature will change the adhesion properties of the enamel to your plastic. When the temperature of the enamel is at 80 degrees Celsius, for example, the enamel is very tacky, like hairspray. But at 45 C, the enamel is hard and more brittle. You want to use the bed temperature to entrap that first layer of your print in the sticky enamel, then turn the temp down to harden the enamel. For the highest adhesion, I use 75C first layer bed temperature, 65C print temperature, and always remove the part under 45C. Often when I print with PLA, my bed temperature profile is 65, 45, 35C. I will be making a follow up to this video that attempts to explain warpage show why turning bed temperature down after the first few layers makes sense, and why enclosures have relatively little impact on your print quality. So if this is interesting to you and you'd like to see more of our videos, please subscribe.